Hey guys, you are about to watch a clip from my newest Body by Yoga program, Yoga Charge. This is our intermediate power yoga program with routines to complement your daily life. AM, lunch, evening, and PM for better sleep. So this program is exclusively available on DVD, but if you order and send us your order confirmation, we'll give you free streaming access through the Manful Yoga members area. Watch the clip and enjoy. More details at the end. Hey guys, my name is Dean. Welcome to Body by Yoga. This is the refocus routine from Yoga Charge. And our goal for you is to use this after work to help slowly guide you into an energizing workout so you can have energy for the evening, for whatever that is, whether that's another workout, whether that's a nice relaxing evening, or for a night out on the town. Whatever you wanna use this for, this is going to help lead you into a great evening. So. Today, we've got blocks and a strap, just in case you need it. Uh, those are for modifications. You might not need them though, so have them nearby just in case. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start on your back with a pretty easy, energizing, relaxing core and spine sequence. So I want you to start with your knees pulling in toward your chest, your back relaxed on the floor, shoulders and neck relaxed and deeply breathing here. So I want you to take no fewer than 10 deep breaths in this position. Filling up your chest as much as possible and then squeezing out all the air, belly button to lower back. Shoulders stay relaxed, hips stay relaxed. And hopefully this helps to restore your posture, especially if you've been sitting or doing something during the day that messed up your posture somehow. So even if you have an active job where you're standing up a lot, this is a really nice, easy exercise to help you get off your feet, get out of poor posture and help decompress your spine. A couple more breaths on your own pace. And then from here, take it into a reclined twist. Legs come over to the right, left shoulder stays flat on the ground. Right hand comes to your left knee. Take a deep breath in, get long from your hips to the top of your head. And then go ahead and look over toward your left. Deep breaths here as you stretch the lower back, create some space in your lumbar spine. This is one of those exercises I think people should be doing on a daily basis. So if you can, after work, maybe before work, try to get in this stretch. It's going to do wonders for your back. All right, take it back to the middle. Deep breath in. And legs over toward the left. Right shoulder stays down as much as you can. Left hand comes to the right knee just for a little bit more tension and a bit of a deeper stretch through the low back. Maybe something going on in the outer right hip as well. Deep breath in, get long. Exhale, twist a little more. Allow your body to relax into it. Breathing as deeply as you can, even in this twisted position. One more breath. All right, take it back to the middle. And we're gonna start warming up your hips and your core here. Bring your left leg straight out. Drive both hands into your right thigh. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, straighten your right leg as much as possible. Stretch the back of your right thigh. And then switch. Inhale, left leg in, right leg out. Exhale, extend the left leg. And switch. 
And go ahead and do this at your own pace. But you wanna focus on pressing your hands into your thigh, so having tension there, and then extending the leg up to actively open the back of your right thigh, especially opening up your hamstrings, which tend to get really tight if you're sitting or even if you're standing. One more to each side. And release your feet down just in front of your hips for some bridge pose. Press down through your feet, squeeze your butt, pull your shoulders toward your heels, and then lift up. Using your glutes here to stay upright, not arching your back, not driving up with your spine, but supporting yourself with your glutes and the hamstrings. Squeeze your heels toward your shoulders, kind of like you're pulling your upper body forward to help with that engagement. And if you still are having issues with it, go ahead and just poke your butt with your fingers and get some awareness in that area. Go ahead and bring both hands to your hips, make sure they're level. And without changing your left hip, bring your right leg straight out to hover about a foot off the ground. Don't bring it way up in the air, that makes it easy. Keep it about a foot off the ground. Continue to drive down through your left foot. And again, really squeeze your left glute here. Keep your shoulders, keep your head, and your neck relaxed on the ground. Two breaths here, warming up your glutes, getting your body ready for your workout. This is also a really good pose to counter poor posture from sitting at a desk. Switch sides, plant the right foot, bring your left leg straight out. Again, your hips stay the same. Use your glute strength to drive your hips up. Think about pulling your shoulders forward using the strength of your right heel. Head and shoulders relax. Two little breaths here. And then plant your left foot and release down. From here we're gonna take it into a seated figure four. So I want you to cross your left ankle over your right thigh and use your hands to hold yourself upright in this seated figure four. Flex your left toes back toward your shin. Use the hands to stay upright here. Whatever grip you feel is comfortable. Focusing on a little stretch for your left glutes and the outer thigh. Also reinforcing good posture, using your hands to keep your upper body upright. All right, let's go ahead and switch. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh now. Sit up nice and tall, flex the toes back toward the shin. And if you wanna get a nice little shoulder strengthener in here, make sure that your fingers are facing forward, thumbs facing one another. Bring the shoulders down and back, pull your shoulder blades together, and press down to hold yourself upright. A couple breaths here. All right, nice job. We're gonna move over into a kneeling position. If you have any discomfort being on your knees, put a pad or a towel under your knees. You can also come up into more of a kneeling upright stance like this. Go ahead and take an inhale, reach your arms back, arch your back, and then exhale. Bring your chest down, tuck your chin in, give yourself a big hug. Five of these kneeling cat cows. Just going through a little spinal mobility exercise, something a little bit different than your traditional cat cow, just to change it up. Get your spinal mobility worked a little differently. <sighs> On your own pace, making sure you're matching your breath with your movement. <sighs> All right. Then from here, take it into a low lunge. Again, you're welcome to use that pad under your knee or a towel under your knee if you'd like it. If not, you can also use the blocks here for a little bit of support in this low lunge. Allow your hips to sink forward. Lead with your hips, don't lead with your torso here. 
but make this active. Really push down through your right foot, keep the back toes tucked, and squeeze your left glute too. Exactly what it felt like when you were doing that single leg bridge. That's what we want here. And then shift to a half split. Bring your left knee about six inches back. Reach your toes toward your shin. Pull your chest forward and up. And as you exhale, allow your right hamstrings to open up. Use the blocks here to help you keep your back flat. Even though I'm pretty flexible, I love using these blocks because then I don't have to worry about rounding my back. Take two more breaths here. Just allowing your hamstrings to open up. And then release. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that clip. To get the full program, purchase the DVD on Amazon. If you want streaming access, send your order confirmation email to help at manfulyoga.com. We'll set you up with free streaming access to the Manful Yoga members area. If you purchase the DVD, I invite you to leave a review. It's super helpful. I hope you can help out, and I will look forward to seeing you on the program. Have a good one. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to this channel.